हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विद विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द टॉपिक प्रॉब्लम सोल्स एंड देयर रिक्लेमेशन मेथड्स बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन लिटिल इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव डन एम एस एग्रीकल्चर विथ स्पेशलाइज इन एग्रोनॉमी फ्रॉम जे पी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी एंड प्रेजेंटली वर्किंग इन सीड इंडस्ट्री एंड एसोसिएटेड विद वन ऑफ द एम सो लेट्स मूव टू द प्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम सोइल विल डिस्कस सेलाइन सोइल्स सेलाइंस इन रशियन टर्म्स इट इज कॉल्ड सोलन चैक दिस सेलाइन सोइल्स आर डिफाइंड एज ए सोइल हैविंग ए कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ द सेचुरेशन एक्सट्रैक्ट ईसी ग्रेटर देन फोर एंड एक्सचेंजेबल सोडियम परसेंटेज ई एस पी लेस देन फिफ्टीन द पी एच इज यूजली लेस देन एट पॉइंट फाइव फॉर्मरली दिस सोइल्स वर कॉल्ड व्हाइट एल्कली सोइल्स बिकॉज ऑफ सर्फेस क्रस्ट ऑफ व्हाइट साल्ट द सेलाइन सोइल्स आर ओरिजिनेटिंग ड्यू टू एक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ सोल्यूबल साल्ट The most soluble salt in saline soils are composed of the cations sodium, calcium, magnesium, and the anion chloride, sulfate, and bicarbonate. Usually, a smaller quantities of potassium, ammonium, nitrate, and carbonates also occur. Sources of soluble salts. There are various sources from which soluble salts are accumulated in the soil. First is primary minerals. During the process of chemical withering, like hydrolysis, hydration, solution, carbonation, and oxidation, various constituents like calcium, magnesium, and sodium are gradually released and made soluble. Second, arid and semi-arid climate. Salt-affected soils are mostly formed in arid and semi-arid regions, where low rainfall and high evaporation prevails. Third, groundwater. If groundwater contains large amounts of water soluble salts irrigation of such water leads to accumulation of salts in soil fourth is ocean or sea water sea water enters into the land by inundation and deposited on the soil surface as salts in arid regions near the sea appreciable amount of salts are blown by wind year after year and get deposited on the surface soil The salinity of Rajasthan are mostly developed through this source. Now, fifth, excessive use of basic fertilizers. Use of basic fertilizers like sodium nitrate, basic slag, etc., may develop soil alkalinity. Now, we'll study about genesis or origin of saline soils. The process by which the saline soils formed is called salinization. Saline soils occur mostly in arid and semi-arid regions. Which have very low rainfall and high evaporation. The low rainfall in these regions is not sufficient to leach out the soluble products of weathering, and hence the salts accumulated in the soil. During rainy season, the salts dissolve in rainwater and move down to lower layers. However, due to limited rainfall, the downward movement are restricted to a short distance only. In dry weather, the salts move up with the water. and are brought up to the surface where they are deposited as the water evaporates with alternate downwards and upward movement of rainwater the salts get concentrated in the surface layer and form a white efflorescence restricted drainage is another factor that usually contributes to the soil salinization and may involve the presence of a high ground water table When the soil contains excess of sodium salts while in clay complex it still contains preponderance of exchangeable calcium the salts usually present in saline soils are the chlorides sulfates bicarbonates and sometimes nitrates of sodium and soluble carbonates are usually absent among the anions sulfates and chlorides are present in greater proportion than nitrates and bicarbonates Sodium forms less than 50% of the total cations present in soil solution. The presence of chlorides and sulfates of sodium gives a white color on the surface and such soil is known as white alkali. When nitrates are in excess they give a brown color to the soil and this soil is known as brown alkali. In these soils the pH is less than 8.5 and exchangeable sodium percentage is less than 15 and electrical conductivity is more than 4. Wilting coefficient of saline soil is very high. Amount of available soil moisture is low. Excessive salt in the soil solution increases the osmotic pressure of soil solution in comparison to cell sap. This effect makes it more difficult for plant roots to extract water and nutrients. High concentration of soluble salts produces toxic effect directly to plants, such as root injury, inhibition of seed germination.
रिक्लेमेशन ऑफ सेलाइन सॉइल्स इन सेलाइन सॉइल्स रिक्लेमेशन कंसिस्ट मेनली इन रिमूविंग द एक्सेस साल्ट दिस कैन बी डन बाई थ्री मैथड्स फर्स्ट बाई स्क्रेपिंग द साल्ट फ्रॉम सर्फेस सेकेंड वॉशिंग दैम डाउन टू लोअर लेयर बियॉन्ड द रूट जोन प्रिफरेबली कंप्लीटली आउट ऑफ द सोलम एंड थर्ड बाई ग्रोइंग साल्ट टोलरेंट क्रॉप्स एंड वी कैन मैथड्स कंबाइन मैथड्स ऑफ ऑल देर विल बी लिचिंग रिक्वायरमेंट इट मे बी डिफाइंड इज द फ्रैक्शन ऑफ द इरीगेशन वाटर दैट मस्ट बी लिस्ट थ्रू द रूट जोन टू कंट्रोल द सॉइल सेलिनिटी एट एनी स्पेसिफाइड लेवल एंड द फार्मूला इज गिवन एयर लिचिंग रिक्वायरमेंट इज कल टू डी डी डब्ल्यू इन टू हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई डी आई डब्ल्यू और ई सी आई डब्ल्यू इन टू हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई ई सी डी डब्ल्यू वेयर एल आर इज कल टू लिचिंग रिक्वायरमेंट इन परसेंटेज डी डी डब्ल्यू इज कल टू देफ ऑफ इरीगेशन वाटर इन इंचेज डी आई डब्ल्यू इज कल टू देफ ऑफ इरीगेशन वाटर इन इंचेज एंड देन ई सी आई डब्ल्यू इज कल टू ई सी ऑफ इरीगेशन वाटर ई सी डी डब्ल्यू इज कल टू ई सी ऑफ ड्रेनेज वाटर इफ द सोयल इज नॉट फ्री ड्रेनिंग आर्टिफिशियल ड्रेन्स आर ओपन और टाइल्स ड्रेन लेट अंडरग्राउंड टू हेल्प इन वॉशिंग आउट द साल्ट एंड रिगार्डिंग द ग्रोइंग ऑफ टोलरेंट क्रॉप्स हाई साल्ट टोलरेंट क्रॉप्स आर राइस शुगर केन सस्बेनिया ओट्स एंड मीडियम साल्ट टोलरेंट क्रॉप्स आर कैस्टर कॉटन सॉर्गम कोकुम्बर आफ्टर दैट लो साल्ट टोलरेंट क्रॉप्स पल्सेस पी सनहेम एंड सिसम सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम सॉइल इज एल्कली सॉइल्स दीज आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड सोडिक और सोलोनाइज सॉइल्स एल्कली और सोडिक सॉइल इज डिफाइंड एज ए सॉइल हैविंग ए कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ द सेचुरेशन एक्सट्रैक्ट ई सी लेस देन फोर एक्सचेंजेबल सोडियम परसेंट मोर देन फिफ्टीन एंड द पी एच यूजली रेंजेज बिटवीन एट पॉइंट फाइव टू टेन फॉर्मरली दिस सॉइल्स आर कॉल्ड ब्लैक एल्कली सॉइल्स कैल्शियम एंड मैग्नीशियम आर द प्रिंसिपल कैटाइंस फाउंड इन द सॉइल सोल्यूशन एंड ऑन द एक्सचेंज कंप्लेक्स ऑफ नॉर्मल सॉइल्स इन एरिड रीजन्स वेन एक्सेस सोलबल साल्ट एक्यूमुलेट इन दिस सॉइल्स सोडियम फ्रिक्वेंसी बिकम्स द डोमिनेंट कैटाइन इन द सॉइल सोल्यूशन इन एरिड रीजन इज द सोल्यूशन बिकम्स कंसनट्रेटेड थ्रो इवेपोरेशन और वाटर एब्जॉर्बन बाई द प्लांट्स द कैल्शियम एंड मैग्नीशियम आर प्रेसिपिटेटेड एज कैल्शियम सल्फेट कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट एंड मैग्नीशियम कार्बोनेट विथ ए क्रोस्पेंडिंग इंक्रीजिंग ऑफ सोडियम कंसेंट्रेशन वेन द सोडियम कंसेंट्रेशन इज मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल कैटाइंस इज ए पार्ट ऑफ द ओरिजिनल एक्सचेंजेबल कैल्शियम एंड मैग्नीशियम रिप्लेसड बाई सोडियम रिजल्टिंग इन एल्कली सॉइल्स थ्रू द रिएक्शन इज रिवर्सिबल कैल्शियम आर रिमूवड इन ड्रीनेज वाटर एज सुन देव आर फार्म द प्रोसेस वेयर बाई ए नॉर्मल सॉइल इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू एन एल्कली सॉइल इज कॉल्ड एज एल्कलाइजेशन करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एल्कली सॉइल्स देर आर वेरियस मैथड्स इंप्लॉयड फॉर करेक्टराइजिंग एल्कली सॉइल्स फर्स्ट ए डायरेक्ट डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ एक्सचेंजेबल सोडियम इन सोडिक सॉइल्स विल सर्व एज ए गाइड फॉर रिलायबल एप्रेजल ऑफ एल्कली कंडीशन एक्सचेंजेबल सोडियम इज कल टू टोटल सोडियम माइनस सोलबल सोडियम द सॉइल पी एच आल्सो गिव्स एन इंडिकेशन ऑफ सॉइल एल्कलिनिटी इन डायरेक्टली एन इंक्रीज इन पी एच रीडिंग ऑफ वन और मोर विथ चेंज इन मॉइस्चर कंटेंट फ्रॉम ए लो टू हाई वैल्यू हैज इट सेल्फ बिन फाउंड यूजफुल इन सम एरिया फॉर डिटेक्टिंग एल्कली कंडीशन द हायर द एक्सचेंजेबल सोडियम परसेंटेज देर विल बी हायर सॉइल पी एच सोडियम एजॉर्बन रेशियो एस ए आर द यू एस सेलिनिटी लेबोरेटरी डेवलप्ड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एस ए आर टू डिफाइन द इक्वली ब्रियम बिटवीन सोलबल एंड एक्सचेंजेबल कैटाइंस इम्पैक्ट ऑफ सॉइल सोडिसिटी डिस्पर्सन ऑफ सॉइल क्लाइट्स लीड टू डेवलपमेंट ऑफ कंपैक्ट सॉइल ड्यू टू कंपैक्टनेस ऑफ सॉइल एरेसन हाइड्रोलिक कंडक्टिविटी ड्रेनेज एंड माइक्रोवेल एक्टिविटी आर रिड्यूस्ड हाई सोडिसिटी कॉज बाय सोडियम बाई कार्बोनेट इंक्रीजेज सॉइल पी एच हाई हाइड्रोक्सिल ऑयल कंसेंट्रेशन हैव डायरेक्ट डिट्रीमेंटल इफेक्ट ऑन प्लांट्स एक्सेस ऑफ सोडियम इंड्यूसेस द डिफिशेंसी ऑफ कैल्शियम एंड मैग्नीशियम हाई पी एच इन एल्कली सॉइल डिक्रीजेज द एवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ मेनी प्लांट न्यूट्रियट्स लाइक फॉस्फोरस कैल्शियम नाइट्रोजन मैग्नीशियम आयरन कॉपर एंड जिंक नो रिक्लेमेशन मेथड्स ऑफ एल्कली सॉइल्स फर्स्ट वन इज कन्वर्जन इज एल्कली सॉइल कंटेंस सोडियम क्ले इट गेट्स डिस्पर्स एंड बिकम्स स्टिकी एंड इम्परवियस इज सुन एज द साल सार वास्ट आउट एज ए रिजल्ट द डाउन वार्ड मोमेंट ऑफ वाटर स्टॉप्स एंड द सॉइल गेट वाटर लॉग्स दस इन द केस ऑफ सच सॉइल इट इज नेसेसरी टू रिमूव द एक्सचेंजेबल सोडियम बिफोर द रिमूवल ऑफ सोलबल साल्ट सो दैट द फिजिकल कंडीशन ऑफ द सॉइल इज नॉट इम्पेयर्ड 
while removing exchangeable sodium the presence or absence of calcium carbonate in the soil has to be taken into consideration if the soil has no reserve calcium carbonate the addition of calcium sulfate means gypsum is necessary second gypsum requirement the main principle for the reclamation of sodic soil is to replace exchangeable sodium by another cations like calcium of all calcium compounds gypsum calcium sulfate is considered to be the best and the cheapest for the reclamation purpose gypsum requirement is determined by the formula exchangeable sodium percent initial minus exchangeable sodium percent final multiplied by cation exchange capacity and divided by 100 where esp initial is obtained from soil analysis before reclamation ESP final is usually kept at 10 since this value is considered safe for tolerable physical conditions of the soil and cation exchange capacity CEC. When gypsum is applied to alkali soil, calcium solubilized from gypsum replaces nitrogen leaving soluble sodium sulfate in the water which is then leached out. Third method of reclamation is salt precipitation theory. Recently, salt precipitation theory is employed satisfactorily for the reclamation of sodic soils. The elimination of salts and exchangeable sodium from soils by leaching is presently practicing, but the leached salts have been washed into groundwater or streams, making those water more salty. Due to use of such water, the soils are further subjected to salt problems. With this view, a new concept in managing soils have been developed and that is known as precipitation of salts. Fourth is other management practices. Application of farmyard manure, green manure, sulfur, molasses, aluminium sulfate and even sulfuric acid have been found to be effective reclaiming agents. Growing salt tolerant crops like rice, barsim and dhaicha is recommended. The crop roots helps to increase the permeability of subsoil by excreting carbon dioxide and developing cracks in it. The carbon dioxide neutralizes alkalinity by lowering the soil pH to a certain extent and the cracks allow more easy percolation of water. Both these processes hasten the removal of sodium salts and wash them to deeper layers. Fifth method of reclamation is prevention. We have to avoid excess water table by following judicious water management practices. Ensuring free and efficient drainage. Flooding of land with large quantities of water must be avoided. Evaporation should be checked as far as possible by mulching or by providing proper shade. It has been estimated that about 7 million hectares of land in India are salt affected which are saline alkali soils. Here we have shown the difference between saline soils and alkali soils. Saline soils are formed by accumulation of soluble salts called salinization while alkali soils are formed due to absorption of sodium on the exchangeable complex which is called alkanization. In case of saline soils pH is less than 8.5, in alkali soils pH is more than 8.5, in saline soils electrical conductivity is more than 3, in case of alkali soils electrical conductivity is less than 4, exchangeable sodium percentage is less than 15 in case of saline soils, while in case of alkali soil this ESP is more than 15. Saline soils are also known as white alkali soils, while alkali soils are called black alkali soils. In saline soils, there is salic origin, while in case of alkali soils, there is nitric origin. Saline soils are having free carbonates which are absent. In case of alkali soils, carbonates will be present. In saline soils, no well developed structure is found. While in case of alkali soils, there is prismatic or columnar structure is found. In case of saline soils, SAR is less than 13. While in case of alkali soils, it is more than 13. In saline soils, reclamation is done by leaching. While in case of alkali soils, reclamation done by applying amendments like gypsum, sulfuric acid, etc. Saline soils are also known as solochuck soils, while alkali soils are known as Solonage soils. Third problem soil is saline alkali soils. Saline alkali soil is defined as a soil having a conductivity EC greater than 4 and an exchangeable sodium percentage ESP greater than 15. The pH is variable and usually above 8.5 depending on the relative amounts of exchangeable sodium and soluble salts. 
Regarding genesis and origin, these soils are formed as a result of combined process of salinization and alkalinization. If the excess soluble salts of these soils are leached downward, the properties of soils may change markedly and become similar to those of sodic soils. As the concentration of these salts in the soil solution is lowered, some of the exchangeable sodium hydrolyzes and form sodium hydroxide. This may change to sodium carbonate upon reaction with carbon dioxide absorbed from the atmosphere. Reclamation Reclamation in these soils, it is necessary to remove the exchangeable sodium before the removal of soluble salts so that the physical condition of the soil is not impaired. Degraded alkali soils if the extensive leaching of a saline sodic soil occur in the absence of any source of calcium or magnesium, part of exchangeable sodium is gradually replaced by hydrogen. The resulting soil may be slightly acidic with unstable structure. Such soil is called degraded alkali or sodic soils. Sodium carbonate dissolves humus and is deposited in the lower layer. The lower layer thus acquires a black color. At the same time, H clay formed in this way doesn't remain stable. The process of breakdown of H clay under alkaline condition is known as solidization. Here we have shown the amendments which are used as a reclamation process in different soil conditions. Like sulfur and ferrous sulfate is used in alkaline soils having pH 8 to 9. After that, limestone is used in saline soils having pH less than 8 and gypsum is used in alkali soils having pH range up to 9. Fourth problem soil is acidic soils. Soil acidity refers to presence of higher concentration of hydrogen ion in soil solution and at exchange site. They are characterized by low soil pH and with low base saturation. The ranges in soil pH and associated degrees of acidity are below. When pH range is 3 to 4, it is called very strong acidity. When it is 4 to 5, it is a strong acidity. When pH range is 5 to 6, it comes under moderate acidity. When range is 6 to 7, it is under slight acidity. In acid soil regions, precipitation exceeds the evapotranspiration and hence leaching is predominant causing loss of bases from the soil. When the process of weathering is drastic, the subsoil and in many cases the whole profile becomes acidic. Acid and acid sulphate soils. Acid soils are generally characterized by low pH. They contain excessive amounts of dissolved ions of aluminium, iron, magnesium, copper. Acid soils are deficient in calcium and magnesium. Acid sulphate soils are rich in pyrite, which on oxidation form sulfuric acid. These soils have pH less than 4. Crops on these soils suffer mainly due to aluminium toxicity and nutrient deficiency. What are the sources of soil acidity? The leaching due to heavy rainfall, acidic parent material and alumina silicate minerals, acid forming fertilizers, humus and other organic acids, carbon dioxide and hydrous oxides and acid drain. These are the factors which are causing the soil acidity. And what are the production constants in these soils? Increased solubility and toxicity of aluminium, manganese and iron, deficiency of calcium and magnesium, reduced availability of phosphorus and molybdenum and reduced microbial activity. Now the reclamation of acidic soils. Soil amelioration with lime has been recognized as the effective soil emulorant as it reduces aluminium, iron and manganese toxicity and increases base saturation, phosphorus and molybdenum availability to acid soils. Liming also increases atmospheric nitrogen fixation as well as nitrogen mineralization in acid soils through enhanced microbial activity. However, economic feasibility of liming needs to be worked out before making any recommendations. Commercial limestone and dolomite limestone are the most widely used amendments. Carbonates, oxides and hydroxides of calcium and magnesium are referred to as agricultural lime. Among the naturally occurring lime sources, calcitic, dolomitic and Stomatolytic limestones are important carbonates. So this was all about problem soils and their methods of reclamations. Now my presentation ends here. Thank you very much. See you again shortly. I have given here my YouTube channel details. Journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Please visit the channel, subscribe it 
एंड प्रोवाइडर वेल्यूबल एंड काइंड फीडबैक थैंक यू